What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com, Rigo from Backyard to Backwoods, and guys, today I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the new Spy Point Flex cellular trail camera and my current favorite, the Tacticam Reveal XB. The Spy Point Flex has 33 megapixels, the XB has 24 megapixels, they both offer HD videos right to the app on your phone, and they each have their own unique features, and I'm going to break that all down for you in a head-to-head -head matchup, and it should be interesting. So hook me up and hit subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so both cameras are set up on the tree and connecting that XB up is super easy. It has that live preview feature where you connect to the camera's Wi-Fi and you can actually get that live preview of see exactly where you're aiming your trail camera. So there's no guesswork involved. You're just lined up perfectly ready to go. Uh, the Flex does not have that feature. When you are setting up each camera, the XB, you can pick photos and video, which I absolutely love. And that's actually a big deal for me, guys. I like to have the ability to see a picture of a buck and then request that 15 second HD video to see what else he's doing and get a better understanding of how his rack looks. You know, he's gonna turn his head, you're gonna get a better angle, be able to count the points, all that good stuff. Uh, with the Flex, you can only choose photos or videos. You have to pick one or the other. So that is definitely a, a drawback in my opinion. Uh, both are GPS enabled. They both have uh, GPS capabilities within them. Uh, the Flex has a 0.3 second trigger speed, which is really fast. Uh, quite a bit faster than the sub 0.5 second trigger speed of the XB. And what I'm gonna do now is my trigger speed analysis, where I creep around back behind them, set up about 10, 12 yards in front of them, and just run right by and see how long it takes each camera to pick me up. So I am about the same body mass as a good sized buck. The Spy Point Flex should have picked me up sooner with that 0.3 second trigger speed. Let's check the footage. Here you can see the flex caught me right in the middle of the frame or even just slightly before the middle. I'm a little bit blurry in that photo. The XB uh, trigger snapped me in the back third of the frame there, but I do look a little bit more clear as I'm running through. And guys, here's a quick example of the XB's photo plus video feature that I was talking about before. Check this out. Here's a photo of this buck with his head down eating and you know this might be the only photo i have of this buck or there might be two or three more just like this but i never really get a good look at his rack with the xb uh, you can actually request the video right from here and what you'll see is you get the nice 15 second hd video where he's going to pick his head up you're going to get a much better understanding of what he's working with with his rack you're going to be able to identify him with spy point you have to choose either photo or video so you're not able to just see a photo and then extract more information like you are with the xb now let's check out the photo quality so what i did here was i blew up the regular photos you get right with the app or right on the web app and i put them side by side so you can see what kind of quality you're getting right from within the app and here are the same photos side by side in hd version so you can kind of see you know they're comparable daytime photos here i know the flex has 33 megapixels but I actually might prefer the XB photo quality for the daytime images. And here are the nighttime regular photos side by side. The flex here is better. Uh, remember the XB is no glow, so there are no lights. And here are the HD versions of the same photos. You can see again that the flex is a little bit more clear and you're able to see that though better with the nighttime. The flex does have two subtle red lights for nighttime shots that do light up. You can see right here. And keep in mind the XB is a no glow setup so there are no lights or flashes or anything like that going on whatsoever. Uh, both of these cameras shoot 15 up to 15 second HD video so let's check those out. Here's the daytime video quality of the XB. Very nice crisp image here. And here's the daytime quality image of the Flex. Also very nice crisp image. I might even give the slight edge to the Flex. And here are the nighttime videos, starting here with the XB. You can see the kind of quality you get in the nighttime with that no glow. And here's the Flex with some subtle, with two subtle red lights going on. Uh, here's a quality video you get at nighttime. As you can see, the Flex is a bit more clear with the nighttime videos. So I do have some more opinions and observations after testing both cameras. And keep in mind, I have done full review videos on both of these if you wanna check those out. So let's start with the Flex. I really do like the price plan 
Uh, Spy Point offers you 100 free photos a month, which I really appreciate that. And, you know, if you just want to set this up uh, in the off season and just keep tabs on what's going on and you could manage your photos down to 100, you could definitely keep tabs on everything. Or if you're on a budget, you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription, you could uh, squeak out over 100 photos. That might be something that you are into. I do prefer the standard SD card with the XB as opposed to the micro SD card that the Flex has. Just uh, my preference, I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna break those micro SDs or lose them really easy. The standard SD cards are just a little bit more, you know, substantial to hold on to. I also appreciate the dual SIM configuration of the Flex. Um, I've personally never had a problem where I'm at with my signal, but for some of you that may be an issue and it might be beneficial to bounce back and forth between Verizon and AT&T. And I also like the Flex's fast trigger speed. That 0.3 second trigger is really fast for a cellular trail camera. All right, so now let's talk about the Tacticam Reveal XB, which has been my favorite cellular trail camera for quite some time now, and I really do like it. Um, Starting off, I've talked about it twice already in this video, that photo plus video feature, uh, when you get a picture of a buck on the ground, you know, you get his head down, to be able to check that photo and then get the 15 second HD video of him picking his head up and looking around, you get a much better idea of what his rack looks like, what he's doing up there, maybe he's messing with a mock scrape, maybe he's doing something, but you wanna see all that stuff, at least I do, so that's super important for me. I also really like the instant photo transfer. So with the Spy Point Flex, you can bump that thing up to every time there's a transmission, every time there's a photo, it will transfer it to you, but it really significantly drains the battery. In fact, when you hit that setting in the app, it's gonna give you a little pop-up warning that said, hey man, uh, you might actually have to use an external battery to support this feature. So I really do like having my photos come to me just about as soon as they're taken. So I really do like that feature in the XB as well. I also like the XB's battery life. I've used this trail camera for a while. I understand kind of how it works. It does take 12 batteries, uh, you know, which with those Energizer Lithiums, they're not cheap, but I know that's gonna last me a good while. And uh, I could always add that solar panel that I have on there for one of them and uh, I'm good to go. So I know what I'm getting with the battery life. I feel the Spy Point Flex, uh, the battery life isn't quite as good. They have the eight batteries. Uh, which of course is less expensive, but I'd rather just get it done once and then not have to worry about it uh, for quite some time. I also like the Reveal app. I think it's much more robust than the Spy Point app. Um, there's a lot more features on there, a lot more tweaks you can do. If you're in a technology, you're a technology guy like me, you want more, you want, you want to be able to refine your settings and tweak things more and, and get the most out of your trail camera. Uh, you know, so sort of like the live preview you get in there, like there's all kind of cool stuff in there and they just offer a little bit more within the app. Um, so they're both super good cellular trail cameras. Spy Point has really stepped their game up. Both have a lot of really cool and unique features. For me, I'm personally going to stick with my Tacticam Reveal XBs, but your needs and your situation might be different. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I put a lot into it. So guys, as always, the links to guys we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.